Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movie That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Okay, I may need a minute or two to compose my thoughts and feelings after seeing Arrival, because right now I just, I mean, wow, wow. Okay, first I want to tell you that it's in everyone's best interest to keep this thing spoiler free. I'll talk about the story of this movie only in the vaguest of terms because the best thing about Arrival is the way it slowly reveals itself to you with subtle shifts in perspective and comprehension without ever cheating or really tipping its hand. And no, I don't mean it's like the sixth sense where you get one revelation at the very end that puts everything prior to it in a different perspective. No, I mean that throughout the film, which if you haven't figured it out by now, I highly recommend you see for yourself, you are constantly reevaluating just what kind of movie it is, how you should feel about the events transpiring, about the choices that characters are making. Because all of the characters in this movie, heck, they don't know what kind of movie they're in either. Neither would you or I in that situation. What if, all of a sudden, 12 gigantic spaceships just appeared over various cities on Earth with no rhyme or reason? You wouldn't know right away if you were in E.T. or Close Encounters or Independence Day. But I tell you, you'd want desperately to know for sure which of those movies you were in right away so you could act accordingly. Which is why the powers that be in Arrival, namely the US military, seek out a linguistics expert, in this case, Louise Banks, played by Amy Adams in a tour de force performance. The military, and by extension, the world, has got to make meaningful contact with these visitors before we can even know what to feel about their arrival. During Arrival, we are constantly in the shoes of characters that are simultaneously curious, fascinated, cautious, patient, and afraid, which I think is how most of us would be. Unlike most movies of this nature, where there's always that one general who simply just wants to blow them all sky high right away, there is an authenticity to the way this film portrays world leaders as flawed, complicated human beings just trying to figure things out while tempering their fear with a healthy scientific curiosity and maybe a justifiably itchy trigger finger. Why does this feel worse? Director Denis Villeneuve, well, let's just say that his movies have always moved at, uh, we'll say a deliberate pace, to be kind. If we weren't being kind, we'd say his movies are kind of slow. They also don't tend to unfold with the same rhythms of traditional story structure. Here, Villeneuve pulls you in methodically, resisting the urge to show massive panic and carnage like you'd see in something like War of the Worlds. Working with cinematographer Bradford Young, he uses tons of wide, slow-moving, and well-composed long shots without a whole lot of cutting to let the world of the film really take shape, especially when the story moves to a wide area in Montana where Banks will attempt to communicate with the alien species in increasingly fascinating ways. Now, I tend to use the phrase sense of wonder a lot when referring to movies that have anything to do with magic or the supernatural. If a movie like that doesn't create a sense of wonder, it's not doing its job properly. Arrival, with its patience and sober approach doesn't just create a sense of wonder, it creates awe. This is an awesome film in the purest sense of the word. There are moments in this film where human beings literally get to boldly go where no man has gone before that conjured up the same complicated mix of emotions of certain passages in 2001, A Space Odyssey. Where Arrival ultimately goes and how it gets there was both intellectually stimulating and profoundly moving. Not because revelations occur that merely change our perspective, like in something like Usual Suspects, they change our perspective while simultaneously moving the story forward and presenting a stirring meditation on the human condition. And due to the methodical way the story was laid out for us from the beginning, everything, plot, characters, theme, and storytelling technique just clicks into place without seeming forced or rushed or gimmicky to have an impact on the story that is at once globally relevant and intensely, deeply personal. I'm done giving specifics. I'll only say that this movie floored me. Extra large bag of popcorn for Arrival, a movie that uses science fiction form to tell a very human story, takes the time to do it right, and still gets it done in under two hours. This is the kind of film that Interstellar and Contact before it were trying to be, and in my mind, never quite succeeded at. The kind of film that will reward multiple viewings, Arrival is a startlingly fresh and devastating work of cinema created by masters of the form. It's also one of the year's best films. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. Click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and be sure to support us by clicking subscribe once you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Arrival in the comments as well. Just please, for the sake of everyone, let's keep them spoiler free. Shh. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I think what we have here is failure to communicate.